My name is Bodie Clark. I'm a chief mate at Coastal Transportation, and I've been with the company 11 years. Before I came to Coastal, my maritime background was somewhat limited. I grew up around the water and on small speedboats and sailboats. I really had no idea what it meant to be on a Lucian freighter. So I started at Coastal as an OS, which is an entry level position. I sailed as OS for a few years and then upgraded to an able body seaman. Then after working as an able body seaman for a few years, upgraded to a mate's license, and I've been sailing as chief mate ever since. To be a mariner is to love the water. You gotta like being out there through thick and thin. You gotta like it on the good days and the bad days. You have to find beauty in the good days and the bad days. You have to be okay in a changing environment. You actually gotta thrive in a changing environment and kind of look forward to the excitement of it and the adventure of it. I chose to go into maritime because it was so different from what I was doing and I was seeking that adventure in life. After getting into maritime, I quickly learned that you could make a comfortable living. As I continue with Coastal, I'm not really worried about retirement. If you invest your time and effort into Coastal, they really return all the time and investment back into you. These vessels are large, there's a lot of moving parts, and the crew is well choreographed and busy. The kind of person who you can find on a coastal freighter is someone who can problem solve, who works well in a team setting in all conditions, and who is an absolute expert when it comes to moving freight. The responsibilities of chief mate vary quite a bit, but they're all encompassing for the operation at sea. The chief mate does pretty much a little bit of everything. You're navigating the vessel, you're organizing all paperwork, you're managing the crew, you're managing offloads, you're communicating with the captain, you're communicating with the office, you're communicating with customers. And then anywhere where your crew falls short, you're the one to step in. What I find rewarding about the job is the impact that a chief mate can have on your, the crew and the operation. And when things go smoothly, there's a huge sense of pride that goes into knowing that you influence the whole process. The daily routine at sea is navigating the vessel, organizing paperwork and updating charts, and also managing the maintenance of the vessel. When you're in port, mate actively participates in the offload of the cargo. You also manage the crew. You keep track of all paperwork. You talk to customers and run and supervise all operation of all machinery aboard the vessel. Think of a map of Alaska. You have the big square of Alaska and then you have this long tail that spreads all the way to Russia. Those are the Aleutian Islands. They break the Pacific Ocean from the Bering Sea and it's where coastal transportation does the majority of its business. The weather influences my responsibilities quite a bit. You have to factor weather into how you're ship handling, uh, how you're moving freight, how you're even scheduling your crew. It's exciting to work in all different weather conditions. It's challenging a lot of the time, but it's not boring. You really have to think about the safety of your crew and the cargo being offloaded or the vessel when navigating, but all those things make the job exciting. The biggest perk of living at sea, I think, is the simplicity. You're on a routine, your meals are scheduled and cooked for you, you know when you're going to work, you know when you're not, you know when you have your freedom off of the vessel at the end of a trip, and you really can switch your mind and body uh, in between those two things. The key to managing a crew is staying organized and planning ahead. You also have to be someone who can give direction, but also take feedback. The wisdom I'd pass on to a new mate is always plan, be patient with yourself and with others, and always realize that it's not the equipment that moves the freight, it's the people around you.